Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and in this video I'm going to show you how to monoprint using Brusho. I've got a set of the Brusho here, this is the assorted pack of eight colours which has these sort of earth tones in, but we have packs of 12, packs of 24, introductory packs, and we also sell them in individual pots of one colour if you'd really like some specific colours. Brusho is a crystallised, almost like a crystallised pigment. And um, some of you might have used it for various things before. They come in these little pots. This one's moss green. And they are like a powder or a crystal. And they're fantastic for all kinds of things. I'm going to use these to monoprint a screen print. So this is a great technique to print onto paper. If you want to have a watercolory look in your prints and you don't want to have that solid colour that screen printing usually gives you. It's best to use with a custom exposed screen. I've got this one, this is just a block printing kit um, screen that we use to print our block printing kit boxes that some of you might have. I'm using a 90T screen for this because I'm printing onto paper. Now I've done mono screen printing before using acrylic screen printing inks. Head over to our IGTV or our YouTube channel to find that one mono screen printing. That one's using inks but this one is using brusho so it's a lot more watercolory and a lot less bold and graphic and painterly. It's a bit more like a watercolour. So to start off I'm going to mix up my brusho. I've got my brusho here. Just a measuring jug of water, some paint brushes and some pots. You can use jam jars if you like. And these will keep for a really long time. If they dehydrate, you can just rehydrate them. So I'm going to start off with my moss green. You don't need a lot, so I'm just going to tap a little bit into this pot. Add a little water. And you want to make sure that all those crystals are really well dissolved. Rose red. I'll go for yellow ochre. Here are my three colours, I'm ready to prep my screen. I'm attaching my screen to a screen printing board and a pair of hinge clamps. So I've screwed down my hinge clamps to attach my screen. I've got a few pieces of mount board here stuck to the board with a bit of masking tape and that's just going to show me where to put down my paper. I'm just going to hold it away from the board a little while I paint on my brush -o. I want the mesh held away from the board here because I don't want the brush -o to go through yet but I don't want it so steep that the br any brush -o is going to run down the screen because it's too slopey. So just hold it away a little. And now I'm ready to paint on my design. Now this design obviously is just our block printing kit template. So it's not particularly artistic for this kind of technique, um, but if you've got something that is more artistic, then you can really choose where you put that color to suit your design. I've just gone for something very simple. I've just done a slight color gradation through the moss green, yellow ochre and rose red on the whole design. What I need to do now is leave it to completely dry. The reason we do that is because if I went and printed with this now, all the colors would blend together and I would lose that placement where I've decided to put all of that colour. This is quite a simple one, but you can go as complicated as you like. And one of the really nice things about this technique compared to the other acrylic mono screen printing technique is you can really take your time with this if you want to because you're waiting for it to dry. Whereas if you're using acrylic screen printing inks, especially if you're in a hot studio, which this is, you don't want the ink to dry on your screen. You want to work with it while it's all still wet and then print it through. But we want this to dry. So if you've got a design that is quite complicated, then you can really take your time with this, use as small brushes as you like and fill it in. So my brush is now completely dry. So I'll take out my prop so I can go flat on the board. Pop in my paper, this is a piece of Snowden. And then I want to use a pot as a bigger prop underneath here, just while I get my ink ready. This System 3 acrylic printing medium. Put a line of it along the bottom. Get my squeegee, 45 degree angle. I'm gonna push it up to flood the screen. Make sure my paper's underneath. Get rid of my prop. And with my squeegee at a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna push hard and pull it down the screen. Lift up, and here's my print. I've got all that lovely kind of watercolor -y texture and those blends here. So I've got all these interesting areas 
where the colours have mixed, where I lay them on the screen. And it's quite a different look to when you're doing mono screen printing with inks because you don't have all those brush marks that you would with that kind of mono printing. So if you want to give this a go, we have the Brusho screens, squeegees, paper, these screen printing boards as well, and all the sorts of other materials that you need, including the acrylic screen printing medium on our website, handprinter.co.uk. Happy printing.